for our brief 10 minute warm up, it's important we get the body ready. So we're going to do a squat matrix and a lunge matrix, and then we're going to do a push up matrix, and then a few other things just to get the rotational ability of the body set. So now you can do a bunch of variety of things, whatever you want, add it in. We normally start with just jogging a few laps, then get people to lunge, then get people to lunge with rotation as we go. So just a few laps of that. That should take about three to four minutes. The purpose of that is to watch people, check in with them, see if you notice them favoring one leg over the other, but also to say, hey, how's it going? How did you feel after the last workout? Do you have any thoughts on today? Anything you know, uh, that you saw from last workout? Uh, just stuff like that, just to get feedback from the clientele and connect with them. Yeah, yeah, basically just get them ready for today. Then we're, then we're doing a group warm-up. As I said, three, three, matrix, three matrixes, matrices that we need to see. So one is a squat, so I'm just going to go hands in front. Let's go squat. I think there's going to be five of these. Four, three, two, and one. I'm going to go one foot slightly forward. So slightly forward, meaning I want the heel to line up with the toe. Back heel can rise up. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Good. Other side forward. Back heel rises up. Again, not too much distance. People tend to want to do this. I don't want that just yet. Good. And so five, four, three, two, one. Good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go feet wide and go for it there. So I'm going to go again. Five, five, four, three, two, one. Give me one foot slightly forward. Back heel up. And five, four, three, two, one. And one, other foot forward, keep the feet wide, and go for it. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet narrow, go for it. So almost, almost touching. You'll see people start to do this. Try to make sure that they keep the toes to the front as they go. One foot slightly forward, heel up. Go five, four, three, two, one. Other foot forward, and go for it. Five, four, three, Two, one. So what I essentially did is I went feet neutral, nut, nut, uh, regular width, one foot left, regular width, one foot right, regular width. Then I went wide, wide, wide. Then I went narrow, narrow, narrow. Nine different kinds of squats. So now let's go from middle. I'm going to go sagittal, frontal, then transverse. So let's just do a small one. And I'm going to step into it with a squat. So I'm going to go here, drop down, here, two, Three, four, give me ten total, five, let's call it that. So I'm going to go side squat, side squat, feet together, two, three, four, we'll call that ten. Now give me angle back, so I'm going to go angle back, angle back, angle back. So right there I've got all sorts of hip opening stuff that's just happened. So now we'll go to a lunge matrix, which is going to be, just we're regular, so let's just do a five, so I'm just going to go five, four, if anyone says we just did these, then tell them we're doing step back as opposed to traveling, which is a different kind of movement because I'm creating momentum and then fighting it to return. So next is going to be upper body rotating. So I'm going to go hands out in front. So I like to call these Charlie's Angels lunges. So I'm going to go right foot forward, rotate right. So right and then left and like that. Good. So that's 10 total for that. Now I'm going to go lunge, hands up high as I drop down. So we'll call these superstar lunges. So I'm going to go high, two. And what I'm trying to do here is get the whole body tall and lengthen out the hips because I need active hips. I need lengthen hips to be able to work. Good. Ten there. So that is just a rotation there and there. Now let's go reach down. So I'm going to go reach down, reach down. Ah, oh, screwed up the order. Right. Good. We'll call that ten. Good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hands up high, tilt. So when the left leg is forward, I'm going to tilt left, right leg, tilt right. Keep the hands in the hair. Basically like you're at a... That's right. Like you're at a naughty, 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 naughty by nature concert. Hip hop hooray. All right, so, so then we got... So that's side to lunge, three planes. Let's go side lunge. So I'm going to side lunge, rotate left. So left, rotate left, right, rotate right. Good, so... Ten of those, and next I'm going to go hands up high. So high, good, high, good. Ten there. Now I'm going to go reach down. So I'm going to go reach down, reach down, reach down. Next is going to, I'm going to tilt out to the right. Let's go to the right. So tilt right, 
to the left. So you'll see people do that. What I'm trying to do is get them to tilt to the left so I can activate, let's just call it their side core. Let's just say to be strong at skiing, I need to be strong side to side, in rotation, and front to back. So that's a side lunge right there. Now let's go an angle lunge. So angle lunge, let's go angle back, big twist, I want the hands to face behind, then come back, twist, face behind, head follows the hands for all of these. Good, and there, good. So now I've got angle back lunge, hands up high. Angle back lunge, hands high. Angle back lunge, hands high. 10 of those, right that. Then I've got hands low. Angle back lunge, hands low. Angle back lunge, hands low. Good, and then I've got tilt to the side. Angle back lunge, tilt to the side. You'll get lots of people will do this. Watch my front foot, they'll do that. Try to get them to keep this foot to the front. If they do that, then they're not getting ex any external rotation of the left hip. I want to get external rotation so that way I can actually get the hips to open up as opposed to that is just the same as that, but in a different direction. So, so that's our lunge, our, our squat. Let's do our push up matrix. So, push up matrix, come on here. Basically, let's just go five real quick. So, I'm just going to go five, four, three, two, one. Make them take a knee, shake the hands, one hand high, one hand low. And let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Make them take a knee, shake the hands. So I'm just giving them a split second and then go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a knee. Now go hands wide. Hands wide, 45 degree angle for the hands. When you come out here, what tends to happen is the inside wrist gets a little bit too much action. So I want to go at a 45 degree angle when I go wide. So, ready? And let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take a knee. Hands wide, one hand high, one hand low. And five, four, three, two, one. Second wide, hands wide. And so you see, I'm repeating that foot matrix that we did for five. And so now I'm going to go. Narrow. Now I'd encourage people to go on knees for this one because it is actually a lot harder. And so now I'm going to go first, hands neutral, narrow, but I'm going to point the hands in. So I'm going to go five, four, three, two, one. Take a knee, shake them out. One hand high, one hand low. And five, four, three, two, one. Make sure you don't let people come out here, otherwise, they're going to be asking for shoulder problems. Take them out, other hand high, other hand low, give them that 45 degree angle, and five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so from right there, we're gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna have the feet travel. So I'm gonna bring the feet up to the left, keeping the hands locked down, and then the feet up to the right. So I'm gonna, it's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna go here, bring the feet to the side, and just bring it across. So all I'm doing is touching down and getting rotation through the hips, what I'm really trying to do is actually get the shoulders to wake up. As I go to the side, just touch that under, like I'm doing a side plank. Good, 10 of those total. If someone has a problem going all the way, just have them go 30 degrees left, 30 degrees right. Last, I'm gonna go, bring it across, touch the side chin down, cross, touch the side chin down. If someone has a problem with that, just have them do straight mountain climbers. Touch down, touch down, touch down. So Stan, anything you want to add in and around that, go for it. Just make sure you get that squat matrix, that lunge matrix, and that push-up matrix, and you should have them ready to go. I know I am. Right now. <laughs> Can you smell what bonzer is cooking? Sweet. And that is your warm-up. Do that. So this is the winter sports conditioning week one, two, and three workout. We're going to go through the workouts. Mark's going to demonstrate as if he was at the, um, the downtown location. I'm going to demonstrate as if I was at the Lakewood location. Sometimes we're going to do the same exercise. Sometimes we're going to do different ones. Right now for the downtown, uh, we have, so for the downtown, uh, Mark can do this one right here, and he's just going to do squat and press. Now he can be up high or down low if a client's worried about biting it. If someone's going to do BOSU ball, basically the easy way, most of these are going to be this way. The easy way is going to get on is have the clients find an edge and then step on here. So we're going to go, the sets are for, for week one, the sets are one minute on, 30 seconds off for the strength phase. So we're just going to hold it right there, just in front of the chest, drop down, up, can be full range, deepest client can go comfortably, 
and down and up. That's the first exercise. One minute on, 30 seconds off. Next exercise is a split. Uh, so we'll go a uh, split squat with a dumbbell twist. So I'm going to grab, uh, I'll grab, grab my pair of 15s. And I'll, and I'll grab a pair of 30s, right? So I'm going to go, so all we're going to go is right here. So a split squat with a dumbbell twist. So I'm going to go, uh, let's go squat, feet together, squat, feet together. So I'm just going to let the dumbbells hang to one side, let the dumbbells hang to the other side. So small, so not a long, not a long stride, but just a short stride, not going for a super long lunge, just going nice and short, good, trying to get the back knee close to the ground. Good. That's number two. And then number three will be squat plus band pull. So let's grab that. So now, so that's a, a band pull. So actually Mark will be as if he's at Lakewood. They're going to have all the bands. So Mark, you grab that. So I squat plus band pull. I'm going to be as if we're here. I'm going to go right here and actually use the straps. Squat and pull on the way up. So I'm going to go let it out, up and in. Okay, go for it. So, so squat, pull, squat, palms are neutral. Bring it up as I come in. All the way deep. To make this harder, bring the feet forward. Sorry, to make it easier, bring the feet forward. To make it harder, squat and pull here. Squat and pull here. Good. For the resistance band, you can make it easier or harder by stepping the client further away or further forward. We want to go thighs parallel to the ground is the goal. So, good. So, relax. So, that would be set one. So, we would go A, B, C, A, B, C. That should take about nine to ten minutes. Then we would go to set two of the strength phase, which is good. Tilt left. So I got, so we got um, on the rail yard. I'm going to take so so a pair of dumbbells again. So we're going to tilt left for the first set, then tilt right for the second set. So be on this side, mate. So 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 the first spot is going to be left leg back, and I'm going tilt up. So I'm going to go, so I just basically 20 to 30 degree knee bend. That's all I'm shooting for. So a little bit more than if it were our regular tilts, but, but, um, but not as much as if I'm trying to really get deep with that knee. So I'm going to go, group A will be just here. I've got my foot on the rail yard here, but actually I want that leg floating. So, so the idea will be floater up, floater up. Okay, then that's set one. Sorry, that's set, that's set two, exercise one. Exercise two is going to be other leg, same thing, bam, up. But actually, sorry, because, we, because we'll be short on dumbbells, we're going to go one hand, so in the opposite, or one hand on the opposite leg. So, if I, so for, for, for exercise one, exercise two, I'm going to go right hand, stand on the left leg, here, up, here, up, and then for the next set, I'm going to go here, up. So that's the second exercise. The third exercise is 21 push ups. So this is going to be, so, uh, we can go on ground or on or on rail yard for, for for demonstration purposes. Not that we couldn't do it totally, but we're going to use the rail yard. Mark will do them on the floor, so that way he can brag about it later. So we're going to go 21 push-ups. Basically, it's going to be seven full: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then then the, then the bottom half seven. So I'm going to go bottom half halfway up, bottom halfway up, bottom half seven. So the Australian counting system, and then top half. Halfway up, halfway up, halfway up. So basically, seven full, seven bottom half, seven top half for the push-ups, or as many as, they, as many as they can get in the one minute they have. Uh, and the, between each set, same thing for the set, second set is they have that 30-second rest. That again should take about nine, ten minutes. Given you've got a ten-minute functional 3D warm-up, which are uh, we'll, is the same as the regular warm up for, for Bonza, basically run them in a circle. We'll show that, actually, I'll show them in a separate video. The, um, so then that's the end of set two. So now we move to set one of the power phase, which is for the first one, it's 180 jumps. We can be on the rail yard or on the ground. So I'll go on the rail yard, and you'd be uh, actually so. And so, so, so if, uh, if I'm at Lakewood, I'm going to go on the rail yard, you can go on the round side, flat side. I'm going to go squat, squat, squat. Squat. That's one minute on, 20 seconds off. They're, they're going left, right, left, right, yeah. Um, and then so side to side line hop over will be find a line 
and I'm going to go side, 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 side. Notice I'm landing with a squat, so I want to get some depth, I want to get some depth. The visual to talk about might be a land, imagine landing in deep snow or deep powder. Yes, yeah, soft knees. Again, yeah, or, or sometimes I'll say ninja landings, like I want to land softly, so almost like you can't hear it. Third one is thread the needle plus jump. So, mark up that one. And they go squat, above the head, squat, above the head, squat, above the head. Just like that. And that is again, one minute on, 20 seconds off. That is the end of set one for our, for our power. Uh, and then set two is left leg hop over, right leg hop over, then jump once. Okay, okay, so left leg hop over. So now instead of here, I'm going to do a one leg. So I'm going to go here, 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 here for, for one minute, 20 seconds off, and then here, 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 here. One leg over, side to side hop. Again, soft landing, all the, all the same things. Sweet. Jump lunge. Stationary jump lunge. So, last exercise, jump lunge, blam, blam, blam. Make sure that they jump both feet off the same time. So not, okay, make sure when you use the cue, both feet land at the same time, both feet take off at the same time. That's the cue. And again, I want that back thigh, the cue is essentially, I want the back, sorry, shin to be parallel to the ground before you jump off again. Back, uh, back, back shin parallel to the ground. That's the end of set two. That should put us at about 50 minutes, which gives you about 15 minutes to do some abs and stretch it out. And that is week one. Week two opens with uh, let's see, lunge plus multi-reach. So we're going to go one dumbbell, one dumbbell, and I'm going to go lunge, tw twist, twist, high, twist, twist, high. So I'm going to go, so I'm going to go right foot forward, twist right, hold it out high, come back, twist left, hold it out long, then I'm going to go high with the right leg, and then high again with the left leg. And then right. So right, left, high, high. Just like that. So that's exercise one of week two, set one. Number two is transverse squat plus a sand bell, or you can use a dumbbell, but just set up sand bells for the second exercise. That's going to be open squat, press high. Open squat, press high. Just like that. The same thing is the same thing as week one. One minute on, thirty seconds off. Uh, so what you mean? Yes, yes, ninety degrees, please. And so then, side lunge plus pull. Side lunge band. Actually, sorry, I like. Scrap that. Scrap that. No, so we're going to go open squat smash. So for that second set. So for the first exercise, we're going to do a smash. So we're going to go high, smash it down. So angle back, smash down. Good, and then take it up, overhead, smash it down. Really get some power behind that. That's the second exercise. Good, so not the, not the dumbbell version I just showed you. Third one is band pull. So we're going to go, so, so, so again, Mark's got his bands because he's at Lakewood. I've got these because I'm downtown. I'm going to go right here. Side lunge, side lunge. I'm not going to do it with a pull. I'm just going to go side to side here, but Mark is going to pull as he stands up in the middle. Let it out as he goes to the side. Pull in as he stands up the middle. Good, just like that. So I'm going to go side, 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 side. Right here. Good. Beautiful. So that is the third exercise of set one, A, B, C, A, B, C. So I'll repeat those three. That should take about nine minutes. Then I'm on to set two, or which is one third, two thirds, three thirds, squat, hands on head. So that's going to be right here. Uh, actually, no, we'll be on the ground. So we, we'll use the rally yard as a, as, a, as a goal to get to. So we're going to go from the bottom up to one third, from the bottom up to two thirds, then to the bottom. So we're going to go all the way down, up to one third, all the way down, up to two thirds, all the way down, hold. One third, two thirds, hold. One third, two thirds, hold. One third, 
two thirds, hold. We got it? So basically I'm gonna go up to up to one third, all the way down. Up to two thirds, all the way down, and then stay. And then one third, two thirds, hold, one, two. One third, two thirds, hold, one, two. That's for a minute. Uh, let's see. Then push ups. Side to side push ups. So so push ups this one, mark mark and show off again. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to one side, together, other side, together. So I'm going to go feet wide, push wide, hands together, feet wide, hands wide, push together. The idea right now is we're trying to get in that split second some stable, some st st stability through the shoulder, try to get the core to react and move with it, and then off to the other side and together. Just getting some lateral reaction through the core. We're using the arms right now. Obviously, if we were skiing, we'd tuck the arms in and collapse. However, we also want to make sure the core is active, so that way if we do fall, the core is ready to take the impact. Because just because we tuck in, doesn't mean we don't need to stabilize the body for the landing. Squat band twist. So I'm gonna go twist. So let's go, let's go right here. So Mark's gonna set it up. He's gonna go Twist it right there. If I'm here with a zero strap, I'm gonna go feet, feet here, twist left, one, two, come back down, twist right, one, two. Mark's gonna do the same thing, so mark him the feet a little further back. And then, and then drop the right, so get these bent a little bit. Okay, and then you're gonna go here, hold, so twist it, hold, one, two, and then back, but keep a squat position for me. So keep that squat, and then twist, freeze, good. And then back, and twist, Freeze and back, good. So if I'm on the, I'm from the serious strap, I'm gonna keep the upper body tall, keep the legs long, keep the hands long. Biggest cheat will be this. You'll see people do this on the band as well. They'll do this. We want hands out long, one, two, out, one, two, out. Okay, the two second hold's important, so make sure they don't cheat us on it. Sweet, so that is three exercises. Repeat DEF, again. So basically the one third, two third, three thirds, the push ups, the squat band and, the, and the, the band twist. Two sets. Now we're on to power. We have, oh, so low, middle, low. So for this one, Mark, I'll have you stand on that one. You're gonna go, you're gonna go low. Actually, so be on, be on the side of the rally yard. You're gonna go low, here, low. So we're gonna go, what's gonna happen is, if Mark's uh, downtown, this is what he's gonna do. I'm at Lakewood, so then, so deep. So I'm going to go high, low, high, low, high, low. So I want to land on top of the, the BOSU nice and light and there. So not even pause for as long as Mark is, just because he's demonstrating, but touch, down, touch, down. Again, soft landing, make sure the heels touch the ground, make contact with that. Again, 60 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So let's couple cones. So let's go about the same length as the rally yard, mate. So what, what, all we're going to do right here, is just go shuffle, 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 touch, 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 shuffle, shuffle, touch. Make sure the legs don't cross. And all I'm trying to do right now is train lateral power for that. Good. No more than three shuffles. So find a range that is for the instructor, three shuffles. So I'm going to shuffle, shuffle, touch, shuffle, shuffle, touch. Okay, uh, Viper. Lateral skaters. The weight of the Viper doesn't really matter as much for most of these because we're using momentum for our power. So if you don't have a choice of heavy or lighter Vipers, give someone a lighter Viper, tell them to use it, heavy, to do, use it faster, get a heavier Viper, tell them to use it slower. I'm gonna go skate, hop, skate, hop, skate, hop, skate, power. So I'm exploding as I hop through. I'm trying to get some verticality, some verticality, Come over the top, really give me some height. Make sure they bring the right hand down to the left and explode, and then the left hand down to the right. So we really get that twist across the body, which just as if I'm snowboarding or if I'm skiing, I wanna make sure I train my body not only to explode, but to explode in rotation. That's a key thing for all of these. Okay, and that is A, B, C. So that's the first round of the power set. Now, I've, so I repeat that. One minute on, 20 seconds off. Then I'm on to set two. Up and over jumps. 
And uh, so that's on one leg on the rail yard, one leg on the BOSU. So drag that out, man. Oh, no, I got, the, I got this one. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So, so Mark's going to do on, uh, up on the high, high on the rail yard. I'm going to go here, squat, 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 just like that. And Mark's right there. If a client's worried about that, have them do them on the rail yard that's on the ground. Um, or we can use the step if we've got just one or two people. Yeah, make sure they leave. The, make sure they leave the surface. Yeah, good point. Really good point. So, traveling forward, side to side, feet, two hops, and squat. So I'm going to go find a line, and I'm going to go squat, 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 just like that. So that's number two, where I'm trying to go forward. I will get to the end of the line, turn around, run to the back of the line, squat, squat, squat. That way we can have ten people going at the same time and then run like that. Uh, push up plus knee in. Cool. So it's going to go, actually, yeah, so, so push up, knee in. Push up, knee in. Push up, knee in. So notice I'm going push up, and then left knee across, push up, right knee across. Just like that. Switch them up accordingly. Good. So rest up. That is three exercises. That's your second set. Repeat that. And that should bring you to the end. Again, You've got about you should have about 15 minutes left to do a um uh, some some yeah abs and some basic core stuff and then stretch it out. Okay, week three. So week three we've got a side to side step up. So a side to side step up is a this is a this is a uh, strength exercise. So I'm going to go uh, I'm going to use the rally yard for this one as well. So both so both people have rally yard. So we're just going to go squat up. Squat, up. Good. So up, squat, up, squat, up, squat. Nice and easy. One minute. Just have people get used to the movement. Number two is 21s on the squats, or 21 on the rail yard. So I'm going to go BOSU. Again, I'm going to go flat side up. So I'm going to have you go on the high side there. So 21 is the same as I push-ups before. So we're going to go seven full. One. Two, three for seven, and then I'm going to go bottom half, halfway, down, halfway, down, halfway, down, so for seven, and then top half, up, top half, up, top half, up. Notice that we hold for a second and then bring it up. It's not just like that. I'm trying to hold for a second and then up. Basically, this, this height right here, if you want to talk to people, this is where we really need to be strong, here to here. This is where we have the most amount of power. This is where we have the most amount of reactivity. If, we, if we're not good at that position, then we're tall. If we're tall, our center of gravity is too high for us to really do the things that we want to do with it. Okay, uh, let's see. That's 21. Where am I? Here we go. And bear crawl. Sweet. So, bear crawl, forward bear crawl, backwards bear crawl. So, right there. Okay, so, bear crawl, bear crawl, bear crawl. And then backwards, backwards, backwards. Make sure the butt stays down and the hands move. Hands move uh, just a small amount, not a huge amount. Okay, uh, so that's set one. A, B, C, A, B, C, repeat that. That should take about 10 minutes. So then we've got side to side squat with a, with a sandbell. Let's go side squat to squat with a sandbell press. So I'm going to go side squat, press. Squat, press, squat, press, just like that. So the second set of the of the uh, of the of the strength phase, I'm gonna have sagittal lunge plus curl. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna dumbbell for this. So I'm gonna go lunge, curl, lunge, curl. So curl on the way up, nice and tall. I'm tweaking it slightly, but. Um, sweet. So, lunge curl right there. Then we have side bear crawl is the, is the next one. So at the end of the first one, we did front bear crawl. Now at the end of the second one, we're doing side bear crawl. So basically, that's the same thing. Drop down. I'm going to go three to the right and three to the left. So I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. And that should take us to the end of the second set for strength. Uh, again, one minute on, 30 seconds off. 
Next I'm going to go, so now I've got power, I need to go Did I do four for the power before? Or did I do three? I did high, low, high. I did shuffle, shuffle cones. I already did up and over jumps, didn't I? Yeah. Did we do four for the last one? Did we tell us? I, I think... Because here I am here. Actually, sorry. I think we should... No, sorry. No, actually, I'm here. I'm here. Shit, yeah, sorry. Here. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah. yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> so now I've got Viper Uppercut with lunge jump. So, Viper Uppercut, lunge jump. Going to do a pause in the middle, and then and then powerfully explode and drop down into a lunge. So it's going to go so from here, explode, drop, explode back, explode, drop, explode back, explode, drop, explode back, explode, drop. Make sure as I drop down that the right hand is forward when the left leg is forward. You know, power together, power together. That way I'm getting that good rotation of someone's a tally mark skier, a skater, talking about skier, talking about talking about that exercise and the need for that power. Band squat jump with pull down. All right. So Mark's going to go right here. He's going to go, as he jumps up, he's going to pull down. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go here, pull, here, pull. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to jump and pull down at the same time. Good. So let Mark get that one set. Good, so two handles there. So, so the key part is don't let people you know, pull down because they're there. Good, just like that. Good, good. Good. If you make exploding noise, it's more fun. Good. <laughs> nice. So one, <laughs> one minute on, 20 seconds off. Then I've got uh, Samba Slam. <laughs> so you'll show everyone that it's not as easy as it looks. All right. I'll show you. Okay. So Samba Slam, just a classic. Bring it up high, smash it down low. Make sure when they smash it, the chest stays high. Don't let them collapse forward. I want to make sure you can still see the logo in the, in the, wind, in the mirror as they drop down. Biggest mistake people make. The other thing I always emphasize on hands is when they bring it up, yep. bring it straight up. And then, yeah, jump right behind that. Yes, so, yeah, straight up, shoulders. not back there. So straight up above their forehead. Good. Down. You got it. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and then we have. So that is the first round of, the, of, the, of week three of the power section. So then repeat that twice, one minute on, 20 seconds off. And then we've got round two, which is Boshu slash rally out push up plus. So that's going to go like this. So Mark's going to go push ups on the ground because he's a tough guy. And I'm going to go right here. We're going to go here, up, up, up. So just leaves the ground just a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, um, <laughs> I don't know what that was for. All right, so thread the needle left to right with squat jump. Okay, so, so we're going to go here. And now we're going to go. Because cause I'm a lightweight. Because I'm, I'm not a strong energy. All right, so, so I'm going to go here, overhead, here, overhead, here, overhead, here. Let's so go right hand down to the right, overhead, left hand down to the left. Overhead, right hand down to the right. Okay, that was the second one. Last one. No, no. <laughs> it's going to be good. Side traveling hops. So this is the same thing we do the forward traveling hops, but this time side traveling. So Mike, step in behind me and we'll just go together. So we're going to go final line, drop, 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 drop. When I get to the end of the line, I'm going to run back. Then we go other side, drop. Drop, 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 just like that. Sweet. So that's week one, two. I oh know, get good side. So that's week one, two, three. Uh, week four, five, six. We will repeat one, two, three. However, when we do four, five, six, we'll change up the times. Okay. So we'll do a little less strength, a little more power, um, and that'll be the way we'll get people ready for week six. Cool. So pause that, and we'll show you the warm up real quick.